Hello everyone and welcome back to Inspired Celeb and in today's brand new video we'll be talking about how Logan Paul said KSI was actually better than Floyd Mayweather. This will be a pretty interesting and shocking video so please make sure to go ahead and hit the subscribe button to see more stuff like this and hit the bell icon to get notified every time we upload a brand new video. Please also make sure to go ahead and drop a like and a comment down below and without any further ado let's go ahead and get right into it. Logan Paul has remarkably claimed that YouTube star KSI hit him harder than Floyd Mayweather. The YouTuber recently went the full distance with former 5 Division World Champion Mayweather in an exhibition clash in Florida back in June. He recently fought KSI twice during the start of his rise in his boxing career, drawing the first contest before being defeated by the Briton in their second bout. But Paul is confident that the British YouTube star hit harder than Mayweather despite the American boxing reputation. Sure, for sure, not even a competition bro, Paul said on True George's YouTube channel. Floyd Mayweather's clean shots, I was like, cool, good job. KSI, I'm like, keep my effing face away from those hands. Paul has made a great deal of publicity and money from his boxing fights, earning over $5 million from his clash with Mayweather. I will quickly add that the first fight was held with low regard from many fans and thus the training wasn't nearly as hard on Paul's end. So he may have actually been less confident, but that still doesn't change how hard a punch is and KSI did not disappoint Paul in that regard as many fans have been very quick to actually point out, but the training regimens have of course improved overall so they probably can take somewhat better punches, but as I've said, it doesn't change a whole bunch in the long term. And he now plans to launch bigger fights in the future while boasting that he retired his exhibition opponent. The dude's on my highlight reel, Paul said. I busted his eardrum. Come on, baby, baby, yeah, of course. I have to appear in a professional fight. This is the coolest thing on the planet. You think about the Roman Colosseum when you watch the gladiators fight to the death. I mean, look around. My brother filled this arena up in Cleveland, Ohio, in his home city. The coolest thing anyone could ever ask for. I've said it before, I'll say it again. Fighters, bro, modern day gladiators. There is no more dangerous athlete. When the fighter walks in the room, everyone feels it. He's got a presence, and it's cool. I love it. I love the sport. I love entertaining. And honestly, I'm effing good at it, bro. Paul has since been linked to the likes of former UFC legend Anderson Silva and Tito Oritz since his last bout, and despite holding previous talks with Silva to fight in Dubai, a deal could not be agreed which frustrated the Brazilian who admitted it was beyond his control. I couldn't control that situation, Silva replied when asked what happened between he and Paul. I just have to control over one thing and that's training hard and continuing to listen to my coach and learning more and more techniques and training with my partners. The other side is something I can't control, but this has happened and I am so happy that I am prepared for this fight. So if the Paul fight doesn't happen, that's good too. As you guys already know, Paul's brother Jake recently defeated former UFC star Tyron Woodley in his fifth professional bout or match and is also making a name for himself in the sport. And the 26 year old has actually backed his brother to defeat British light heavyweight Tommy Fury if the pair do go on to actually meet. And I'm honestly excited for that and please let me know if you are. Overall, I think that Logan and Jake Paul both have some pretty good futures ahead of them if they stay with the boxing sport, as long as they can stay out of controversies, which they have of course been known to do in the past, but they have definitely improved over the years. Did you all like the video? Please go ahead and let us know down below. But anyways, guys, that is unfortunately all we have time for today. Thank you all so much for watching the video, as we really do appreciate your viewership. And please don't forget to go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, comment something down below, and we will see you all in the next video. Please do take care until then. We'll see ya, and bye bye